Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be on the vault in the RX 9060 XT. I'm going to have the power color hellhound model here. And I'm just going to show you guys what's possible with this card, you know, because you can lower the power limit a bit more, but you will lose more FPS. Uh, I tried to have like a balance here. So we're only losing about one to two FPS, maybe three FPS. It depends on the game. But, you know, it's it's a pretty decent on the vault here. And you know, you're using 45 uh, watts less here. I could have done a different one that you gain about two to three FPS, but I thought maybe for a video, it'd be better if, you know, we got the power draw a bit down and uh, I thought I would make uh, of a better video here, but uh, you guys tell me what you think in the comments below. We are going to be using a 1900X 3D and we are going to be using 32 gigabytes of DDR5. I will have all the specs in the description below for you guys to see. I will have the review in there as well and the unboxing video as well. And let's get started with the video. All right, guys. Put the on the vault that I have put on. Go to performance. Go to tuning. Basically, it's going to be on default. So you need to press custom here. Then enable all of these here. So you can change them. So for me, a minus 80 voltage offset worked. Uh, I put a 2600 here on the max frequency. And I put a minus 25 here. And make sure to apply it here. And these settings might not work for you guys. So a minus 80 offset might not work. Maybe a minus 70 might work. Maybe even a minus 90 might work for you. I'm not sure because every card is a bit different. Uh, the same here. Uh, for me, 2,600 work. But for you, maybe 2,550 will work. So I'm not sure about that. Pretty sure this is going to work for everyone. It's just putting the power limit down. So it should work for everyone, I think. Uh, also, if you do want to go back to default, just press default here and everything just resets and it goes back to default settings here. Right, guys, so we're on The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered here. 4K Ultra Settings with Eversong quality here. We are using Eversong 4 here and we're seeing literally no performance difference here between stock and on the vault here. But what we are seeing is a clock difference here of around 250 megahertz here, uh, less on the on the vault. And we are seeing around the 45 watt difference here in the power draw. Uh, the 1% lows and the FPS literally seem exactly the same here. So uh, like I said before, guys, it's, it's a, you know, some games you're going to see a one to two, maybe even three FPS difference. It really does depend on the game. We are going to see in other games that there will be a difference, but here it seems to be exactly the same as you guys can see here. So we are also seeing a fan RPM difference here. So the temperature is higher because literally the fan RPM just went all the way down now because of the power draw so low. I would recommend the custom fan curve here just to get better temperatures. You can get your memory all the way to 80 and your core here probably all the way to like 55 or even less all right guys so we're in forza horizon 5 here 4k max settings with taa here and we're seeing around the two fps difference here between on the and stock here but we're still seeing that 45 watt difference as well the fan rpm difference is really huge here it's like 500 rpm difference here guys so quite insane but of course the on the here has a higher temperature on the core just because the fan just went all the way down so like i said before guys just get a custom fan curve you should be completely fine here uh, we are also seeing that 200 megahertz difference here on the gpu clock as well it seems to be like just that two two fps difference and that's about it here all right guys so we're in atom full 4k ultra sense native resolution there because this game doesn't support any fso or dlss here we're seeing around the one fps difference here guys maybe two it does depend where you look in the game here but literally like a one fps difference between on the and stock here and we're still seeing that 45 watt difference here as well and we're still seeing around the 200 megahertz difference uh, between on the and stock here as well uh, the one percent low seem to be exactly the same as well i mean basically the same uh and yeah guys it's pretty decent on the boy as you can see like this is the third game that there's basically no difference here and 45 watts is a significant difference here so all right guys lastly we have stalker 2 half chernobyl here running at 4k high sense everson quality here with everson 4 and we are seeing around the two maybe three fps difference most like two i can see uh, around two fps difference here and we are seeing that 45 watt difference as well in the power uh, the temperatures seem to be lower here on the on the vault as well but it probably just hasn't heated up and off here because i think it would probably be a bit higher if i ran the game for a bit longer here and yeah we're still seeing that 500 rpm difference here between on the and stock and we're still seeing that 200 megahertz difference here between on the and stock as well all right guys we're at the end of the video now let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, video here let me know if you like this on the vault i think it's a pretty decent on the vault guys you literally are using 45 watts less here you're getting basically the same performance here uh, 
I know I could have done a you know better on the ball. Like I did say on the uh, start of the video where you gain a little bit of FPS, but I thought it would just it wouldn't be that good of a video if we only gained like two FPS. Because are you really gonna see two FPS difference? Probably not. You know, if it was like a five or six FPS difference, maybe I would have done a video on that. But I didn't really see much difference there. So I thought you know I would do this type of video because I thought it was more interesting here. Let me know if you guys enjoyed these type of videos and what you thought about the underworld here in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.